Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another top 10 brawlers video So every single new meta regardless if it changes a lot or a little bit you guys know I always do a top 10 in the meta right now and this meta has completely Changed 180 degrees the brawlers that were top 10 number one number two number three aren't even in the top 10 anymore uh, so that being said, let's just start this list off and let's see how many you guys can get right. Let's get into this. So coming in at number 10, we have Janet. Now, Janet is still a really good brawler. It didn't really get nerfed or anything. It's just not as good into the other meta brawlers as it once was. Um, the biggest nerf that it's ever gotten is definitely that it can't drop its boom base or whatever it's called out of midair anymore. That's kind of affected it as it can't just stop the regen of other brawlers whenever it wants now. Nonetheless, though, it's still a really good brawler. It's probably the best gem grab ball brawler in the game right now still. Um, the fly is just super good in gem where you can go in and out whenever you want. The drop the base uh, gadget is pretty broken and it's got two pretty good star powers as well. It's a good lane, good mid, and it can also be played on basically every other mode. It's still a really good brawler, but it's not going to be top three anymore as there are some new kings and queens of the brawlers in Brawl Stars. So that being said, let's move on to number nine and let's keep going. So coming in at number nine, we have Penny. Now Penny, very much like Janet, is just kind of really good at everything. It kind of has more or less the same HP, more or less does the same damage. The only difference is Penny has a turret and also has a barrel. The barrel is kind of like the drop the base where if you need to body block a gene pull or maybe a surge is hard stuck level one, you want to keep it level one, you put the shot in front of you. The barrel is just a little bit better for that type of stuff. And then I think the penny uh, turret is just one of the best things in the game. It also has a boom boom star power, which you guys don't really see it in this game. But when you see it hits the ground, it kind of explodes. So if something like a Carl is spinning on you or if there's something in your face, you can knock it back with that. And then of course... There's the splash damage that Penny's always had. It's really good in gem. It could be a lane or a mid. It's good on heist because of the turret. It slowly does damage over time. It's good in like every single mode. And Janet, or not Janet, sorry. Penny is going to be our number nine brawler. So as you guys can see, two kind of just brawlers that are safe into everything, good into everything. You can draft early on basically any map are going to be starting our list today. But as we keep going, it's just going to start to become things that are so overpowered. It doesn't even matter really what you're facing. It's still going to win, even if there's a counter. So let's move on to number eight and let's keep going. So hopping into this next game here, we have Gene at number eight. Now, this isn't really the best display because we're kind of facing some randoms this game. Um, but Gene is a really good brawler. Uh, the vision gear is like the most overpowered thing in the game, obviously. Like you can just spray from like 11 tiles away. It has a really huge spread and you can just constantly get visions. You guys can see I'm just trying to hit that random Tara over there on the right and um, just try and get as much vision for the team as possible. And Gene wasn't really that crazy at the moment, but then they nerfed or sorry, they didn't nerf. They buffed the, new, the gear for Gene, and they made the toll from one third of a tile more to three full tiles, or not three, sorry, one full tile more. And it's like the original Gene pull. It's super broken. You're like pulling people from across the map. They're like barely even on your screen when you pull them. Um, it's just pretty crazy. And then that mixed with the vision that you always have. Again, it's well-rounded, good on every mode like Janet and Penny for the most part, uh, is going to put Gene in the number eight position. Now, I think it might actually be a little bit higher. I don't know. The meta just changed, and I'm worried I have a couple brawlers higher up, uh, a little bit overrated, but we can talk about that when we get there. So, that being said, uh, GG's to the randoms we played in this game. Let's move on to number seven and let's keep going. Now, I think I have this brawler a little bit low, but coming in at number, I think we're at seven right now. Let me double check quickly. Okay, we are at seven. Coming in at number seven, we have Gus. Now, I think. Gus could easily be top five, maybe even top three, but it just doesn't feel like overpowered. It's really good in competitive, uh, which is why I probably want to rank it higher, but it's not broken, broken on ladder. Now, everything's good about this brawler. The shield is absolutely insane. The gadget where you can pop the balloon is out or ghost, whatever it is, is absolutely insane. Uh, the range is really good. It's just, it's just really, really good. And then you match it with something like an Otis or something like a Janet or something like a Griff where you they can just walk up and spray a ton of damage. Just any mid-range brawler really that does a lot of HP or a decent amount of HP. Can you just you can just give it the shield and it can just hard carry. Like it's pretty crazy. And then on top of that, it has a Zeta skin now. So it's just 
it's just a really good brawler. Would highly recommend using it. If you guys don't have Gus unlocked, you definitely want to get it unlocked. It's such a fun, good brawler to play. That's going to be our number seven. Let's move on to number six. So coming in at number six, we have Max. Now, again, another brawler that I want to put a little bit higher. And if it was like a competitive list, I probably would put it a little bit higher. But just because it's for the fact that it's I'm mainly basing this off of ladder, we'll just keep it here. Uh, this brawler is just good with everything. You just match it with any aggro tank, any, you know, mid-range like Otis or Gene, for example. And it just does so much work. The fact that you can just rotate supers or not rotate, I guess cycle supers whenever you want is like ridiculous. It's like an absolute laser now. It's just so good. And then the three dashes are kind of like extra lives in a way. Like if you don't want to get hit by a shot, you dash. If you want to try and score a brawl ball goal, you dash. If you don't want to get hit by a super, you dash. You kind of just get three of those per game. And that is just really fun. I don't know. It's a really good brawler. If you guys face something squishy like that squeak that you just saw, you just run in its face auto aim and you're just going to get your super back and kill it um it's just a really good brawler again very very good i probably want to put it higher up uh, but we'll keep it here for now so that is going to be our number six brawler let's move on to number five the top five and let's show you what it is now you guys are probably going to be a little bit surprised that it's this low but honestly i think this is the most overrated brawler in the game right now we have Chester. Now, Chester is really good. Don't get me wrong. I played ladder with it on the first day, second day. Got it ranked 35. It is a really good brawler. There hasn't been too many brawlers that felt on ladder as good as Chester has felt in a while. Now, with that being said, I put a lot of emphasis on ladder because when you're facing people that maybe aren't your skill level and you're playing a brawler such as Chester, which is just really good, it's going to feel really strong, especially when it's an aggro brawler. When you start to face people that's around your skill level and you're not just playing matchups that are free for Chester, it actually starts to become really difficult. Um, we've done some drafts, uh, some practices with Chester. I, it's not crazy by any means. It's kind of just like an average brawler and competitive in the draft meta. I'm putting it at number five just because on ladder it feels so good and so broken that I feel like I just have to put it in the top five. But truthfully, I would probably put it around the 10 area, maybe not even in the top 10 if I were to put an actual list for what I think the actual 10 best brawlers in the game are. With that being said, it's really good into tanks. Three of the five, I think four of the five supers actually are really good. It does a ton of damage. It's really good. I do expect it to be nerfed though. And if it does get nerfed, I think it is really, really, really going to fall out of meta. So I wouldn't bank on it being meta for too long. If you guys are trying to save up and unlock Chester over unlocking two or three other brawlers, I'd probably recommend against that. I think it's just really overhyped right now. But with that being said, that's going to be our number five brawler. Let's move on to number four. And this is definitely the elite four of the group. So let's show you guys the top four and what it is. So coming in at number four, we have Crow. And no matter what they do to Crow, my boy just finds a way to come back in the meta always. It's just... It's just the perfect brawler, honestly. It's just so good into every tank, every mid-range brawler in the game. It's just like, it's honestly the perfect brawler. Because no matter what, it's going to reduce the damage that you do to it because it's Crow and it has the poison. The poison time doesn't let you regen for like three seconds after you get hit. So those are two things that already counter tanks. And then on top of that, and, and mid-range as well. And then on top of that, it has its slows. I, it did get nerfed, but the slows are still really good. The new specialized gear for just Crow is really good. Just, it has a lot of range. It's not a hard shot to hit because it's three daggers. You can kind of just auto-aim it most of the time. It's just a really good brawler. It's really, it's really well-rounded. It's just good into everything, man. I don't know. It's just so good. It's hard to comprehend. No matter how many times they nerf it, I think it's just going to stay broken forever. It's kind of like Gene and Max, where I feel like no matter what you do to it, it's always just going to somewhat be in the meta. And if it's not in the meta, it's going to creep its way back in a month or so. But yeah, this is going to be our number four brawler. Really good in just everything. Super well-rounded. Let's move on to the top three, show you guys what it is. So the top three was super difficult to decide the order of. It was basically impossible to decide the order of the top three. But we are going to go at number three with Meg. So Meg is just, it's just ridiculous. I mean, you hit 
I think it's seven shots, six shots. I don't know what it is exactly. And then you get this 7.5k infinite HP mech, which is just absolutely unreal. Like that is when you're in mech, it's the best brawler in the game. It's like a surged level four. It's like you don't always have it, but when you have that certain ability, it's the best in the game. And then on top of the fact that you have to destroy the mech that has infinite ammo, does a lot of damage, shoots a lot of bullets, and has 7.5k HP, plus it has that whack for whatever reason. There's also, you need to destroy it in Little Meg, where it has a shield, and so it's a little bit tanky. It's like a 5k HP brawler almost with the shield. So there's just a lot that you have to take care of. There's just a lot that you have to deal with. It's a really difficult brawler to deal with, and it's just... It's just hard. I don't know. It's just really hard to take down. It's really hard to take control of. It's it's just really good. I don't know. But with that being said, surprisingly, it's going to be our number three. Um, again, you could probably even put it at number one. But I think there's two more game-changing brawlers right now. So let's hop into it and let's show you guys our top two. Now, you guys might be surprised by this. But coming in at number two, we have... Grom. Now, Grom honestly could be number one really easily. This brawler needs a nerf. There are a lot of brawlers in the game that are just good. And then there are a lot of brawlers that are, like, annoyingly good. And it's not okay when they're good. And Grom is one of those brawlers where it's just not okay when Grom is good. It's just, like, it's, it's so overpowered. It's so easy to hit a shot now. It's so easy to do a mass amount of damage in Heist. The super is broken. It's a thrower, so it can shoot over walls, which is obviously broken. Um, both gadgets, bro not broken, but good. It's just, it's, that I don't know. I don't know. It's really, really good right now, and it really needs a nerf. Now, luckily, there's only Queso Cup right now. There isn't anything competitive-wise uh, for a little bit. So we don't really have to deal with a Grom meta right now in competitive, but I am really hoping that Grom is nerfed before BSC starts in February or whenever because it is just going to be way too good. It just rips the safe apart. It's good in gem. It's good in bounty. It's just way too good in everything right now, and that is not okay. So this is going to be the number two brawler. Let's move on to number one. I feel like you guys more or less know what it is. Let's hop into it and show you guys the number one brawler in Brawl Stars. Okay, so coming in at number one, we have Buster. Now, I don't need to explain too much. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be the cameraman for this game because it's really short. This brawler is just broken. It's too good. It's good in every single mode. The gadget is too good. The star power is too good. The brawler is just too good. Everything about this brawler, it's just too much. It's just not okay. We got to get this brawler out of the game uh, or nerfed. I, I do like how they nerfed it twice, which means, you know, they're taking a stance and trying to change the brawler, but it's just too good. It's... I don't know. It's just not okay. Get this brawler out of the game. That's enough, Buster. I don't want to see it anymore. I just... I don't know. It's it's super annoying. I don't like that brawler. I don't want to see it anymore. But with that being said, that is going to be our top 10 brawlers. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do, like, comment, subscribe, all of that. As always, it's going to be it for me today. I will catch you guys again soon. See you guys then. Peace. Hey, you. Yes, you there watching this on your phone. Have you ever wanted to be the best? The most handsome? the most loved player on your team, and support your favorite creator at the same time. Well I have good news. You can be all of that and more, by using code Bobby. But you have to do it now because this is a limited time offer. Use code Bobby at any Supercell Games store.